Hi Leo, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. So I'm here to do your July 2019 reading. All right. <clears throat> so these readings are turning out to be a little bit a little bit longer. I'm doing just a little little more clarifying. Uh, I have the time um, this week and just just want to give a little more in the the monthlies. All right, so let's see what's going on for for Leo for this month of July. Ooh, success and growth. This is like the Eight of Wands. Nice. And then we have dreams coming true. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. This is like the Nine of Cups. Oh my gosh. So I'm doing a, uh, a chakra card for you guys as well. So the card that comes through is how the two of you, what chakra you're connecting on. All right. <laughs> Heart chakra. Beautiful. Okay, so... Heart chakra is coming from a place of I love, all right? I love success and growth. I love dreams coming true. Well, beautiful. Very nice. All right, so, oh, I'm using the, the Night Sun Tarot, okay? And it's, um, it's another deck by Lo Scarabio the artwork that, that he does. I'm always drawn to it. They are the most beautiful decks. And I love the shape of the cards that he does. Like the shape of them are like perfect in my hands too. So, all right, so let's lay out the cards. Okay, all right, so first card here. Look at that. We have, we have the Eight of Wands next to the Eight of Wands. All right, so could be about communication, could be about um, Cupid's Arrow, okay? That's the card of Cupid's Arrow. Basically, you know, striking your your heart. If this is you, we don't know yet. And then we have down here, we have two of swords. Okay, so we're definitely going to get some clarification on that. All right, because we've got we've got the nine of cups here. You know, wishes fulfilled. So why would this person be? blocking their heart and this person I mean we've got Cupid's arrow basically twice here I feel like this person is coming towards this person all right oh look at this there are two cards stuck together how funny okay so we have look at that we have the sun and we have death, Scorpio, Scorpio card here. Um, and the sun can be uh, Leo energy too. But that's really interesting. So I feel like this person here is going through, has gone through, I feel like a major change in their life and they're moving towards their sun. The sun was on the bottom. The sun is their bliss. This person is moving towards bliss after 
you know, after having gone through a, a major transformation, I feel like this transformation is um, coming from more of a headspace and moving towards more of a heart space. So ego to more emotion. And then down here we have, we have the devil. So soulmate energy, I feel like this has to do with this person's perception. This person does not know or isn't perceiving that this person is not coming towards them. Page of Cups, yep. This person is moving towards a more emotional space, coming from their, their heart space towards you. And, and I feel, okay, so I feel like this is you in this particular reading. This person sees you as their bliss, as their son, and you see them the same way. But it was a transformation that this person had to go through. You know, I feel like it was an ego transformation. But this is about, this is about Cupid's arrow coming towards you. It's about a message coming towards you. It's about this person sharing their heart, their feelings with you. It's about communication, about love. The moon, yeah, this person is is in the dark, <laughs> okay? Um, you are in the dark about this, about this person coming towards you. It might be somebody that, you know, you haven't communicated with in a while, but this is a very strong energy and it's, it's about love. You had a dream about this person I mean, you were, you were at a place at one point where you thought this was going to happen, okay? And for whatever reason, it didn't happen when you thought it was going to happen. But this person has gone through some growth and some transformation of their ego where they weren't able to speak certain things before. I feel like they have gone through this transformation, death, to get them to this blissful state where, you know, and when I say bliss, sun, happiness, you know, I, I think they feel better within themselves that they're connecting with, you know, a more emotional place within them. So now they're able to offer this, this cup of love to you, you know, and I, I feel like it's a smaller type of, of offer or when they reach out, it could be just a text initially. Okay. But there's, there's definitely, there's definitely more to it underneath. Coming from where this person came from within their ego. And, you know, this could go either way. This could go back or forth here. This could be you, okay? But um, I feel it's, it's a big step for them to, to speak emotion. And with Eight of Wands here twice, I feel like that's exactly what is coming towards you. And with this moon, again, moon... Devil, Two of Swords, this is an energy of what the hell is going on, <laughs> all right? And I feel like there hasn't been a whole lot of communication here. So you have been in the dark. 
let's see, I'm gonna clarify this as a group because I feel like these all go together here. Knight of Wands, okay. All right, so I feel like this is what I'm getting. I feel like you at some point made some type of passionate offer to this person. And it took this person off guard, like, um, you know, like a proposition. Like, I feel like it was a proposition towards this person. And it took this person completely off guard. They didn't know, they felt like it was out of character for you. They felt like um, it was, it was random. <laughs> Like it came at a, an unusual time of day. Um, it just was, it was so fueled by passion within you. But I think where there might be some miscommunication here is that this was based in love, not just sex. Passion I feel is a combination of love and sex. And I feel like that was the intention. But it came across, I think, as, it came across as, you know, maybe without the emotion You know, and that would explain the, the devil energy here. But what's interesting, in all of these cards, there are, like, the dark and the light. Look at dark and light, two people. Two people. Devil is dark, is dark and, and light. And then we've got the moon. Two people representing the dark and the light side. Everything has a shadow side, right? So I feel like, you know, it was only your shadow side that was perceived by this person. I feel like after this person, you know, really took some time to, you know, to mull this over, to go over the situation, to realize that, this was not just a, a one-night stand type of offer. You know, they felt that passion. But I feel like they wanted the whole package. They wanted the love. You wanted the love, too. But you started off with passion, which was only seen as sex by this person. So I feel like this person has had an epiphany they're seeing, they're seeing the light, the sun, their bliss. And I feel like they're moving towards you. And I don't feel like you see this coming at all. This two of swords is representing your shadow and your light. All right, so let's see. Is there anything? Let's clarify the moon here real quickly. Eight of swords. Yeah, you're just you're just in this place of you feel like you just royally either you royally messed up and you didn't. You were supposed to do this. You were supposed to do this because when you did this or when you made this offer of passion, okay, whether this person realizes it or not, this they were seeing themselves in you when you did that, okay? And this caused this person to have the growth, have the transformation to get to the point where they are comfortable communicating their feelings, their emotions, 
their love. This was supposed to happen. It was not a mistake. Don't think it was. Don't think that. Look at soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And then down here, we have give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So I feel like this is just talking about getting in the mind frame of preparing for this person to come back to you because I absolutely feel like that is what's happening here. And this was supposed to go down exactly the way it went down. It was to open up this person's heart chakra and allow them to speak their emotion and their love to you and to give them a mirror to see what they may have been doing to other people. The fact that this was completely out of character for you to do that, you might be asking yourself, why did I do that? That's not like me. Okay? So, something, something that day, it was like, it was like the perfect storm that came together that allowed you to do that. Didn't make you do it, but allowed you to do it for this person's benefit and yours ultimately because by doing that you you were being authentic because your intention was not only this but this they just didn't happen to see this okay All right, advice for this connection. Take the lead. So we've got, this is the three of wands. This is about expectations and ships coming in. All right, so that's what I feel is coming from this person. This person is going to take the lead. All right, and... Bring in their soulmate, which is you. And you're going to you're going to give this relationship a chance, even though I feel like this, this coming in is going to be kind of a shock to you. Because you feel, you know, with with the devil, two of swords, eight of swords, moon, like I said, you're in the dark. You, you, you may feel like this is over or that you messed up beyond repair and you completely have not. Male or female, whoever did this, masculine or feminine. Okay, all right, Leo, that is what I have for you for the month of July. So Somebody might be knocking on your door <laughs> that you're, you're not expecting, but I think we'll be pleased to see. All right? All right, Leo. Thanks so much. Have a great week. Bye-bye. Month. Great month. Sorry.